Hey, and welcome to today's video. As mentioned in the last one, where we installed Kubernetes and ZB locally on our machine, we are now going to do a ZB installation in a Google Cloud Platform Kubernetes cluster. So since it's a very simple topic, we can directly jump into it and try out the installation. See you there. Having opened up the Google Cloud Platform, we can navigate to our Kubernetes engine. Down there, we can check out the currently running clusters in our environment. And there you can see we do have yet three of them. So let's create a new one using the Cloud shell. Therefore, of course, we need to connect with it, but that should be rather quick. Hey, there we go. Cool. After having done so, we need to create a new cluster in here. Therefore, I've prepared already a little command. So this one states that we will create a gcloud container cluster called Thomas CB GCP cluster for or in the region Europe West with the number of nodes three and the cluster version latest, so on and so forth. Um, quite important is that we are going to use the mesh and type N2 minus standard minus four. If we decide to run Kubernetes or if we decide to run ZB on a lower mesh and type, um, we need to apply some values, um, which I didn't want to do in this video. So for the full-fledged default values required by ZB, we do need to have such a big mesh right here. Cool. Executing this one should give us a newly created cluster, which will take a while. As you can see, the cluster has been installed successfully. So we do have the name Thomas ZB GCP cluster, and we do have it installed in the correct location or region we have set. You can see the master IP, the version of the Kubernetes engine installed, and of course, most importantly, the mesh and type suits the one we have specified previously. Great. After having done so, we can now um, once again add the Helm repository for ZB and update the Helm repository in the next step. Okay, let's check whether we do have the pointer set to the correct cluster. So we will simply run a kubectl config get contexts. And as you can see, yes, we do have. It is set to our Thomas CV GCP cluster we have just created. Great. As mentioned, in the next step, we'll take care about um, the Helm. Um, repository which we need to add so we can simply say helm repo at zb https and adding the actual url to helm.kamunda.io <clears throat> yeah we do already have it so that's perfectly fine now we can just execute a helm repo update and we should get the latest version of our Helm charts. Wonderful. After this has been done, we can now focus on the actual installation of our ZB full Helm chart. In order to install ZB, we can once again say Helm install. Let's say ZB self managed ZB slash ZB minus full minus Helm. And as you can see now, it's it's running properly. Um, let's wait for a while. Ah, oh, this went fast. So you can see ZB Full Helm is installed. We can also check all our pods we've got in here. So let's run kube ctl get pods. And there you can see that we do have operate the ZB gateway, all our ZB engines, three of them, three Elasticsearch instances and the Nginx um, ingress controller. Great. Um, now you might be wondering where is our task list Helm? And in order to use this, we need to um, set a condition in the Helm chart as true. And I will show you now how you can manage to do something like this. But first of all, let us clean up because we do want to have um, 
the ZB full helm chart installation with task list right here. So let's say once again, helm uninstall ZB self managed. And now we can focus on how we can yeah, install this with our task list helm chart. As you can see in the GitHub repository for those cloud helm charts, there is um, a condition set in the ZB full helm chart for enabling the task list. So in order to do so via the installation, we can either set a value YAML or we can just set this property. So let's switch back to our Kubernetes cluster and once again, run our helm install command, but now we can edit set together with task list dot enabled equals true. Doing so leads to another installation containing hopefully our loved task list. So let's see, shouldn't take too long anymore. It has been installed and now we can once again run kubectl get pods and we do see that task list is already installing and will hopefully be soon up and running. Great, so that's the intended behavior right here. After all our pods are up and running, as you can see down here, we can now execute the command kubectl get svc in order to take a look on the external IP which is provided by our cluster. So we can just copy um, this as our external IP and we need to remember port 80. So let's do so. We can open up a new tab, copy our IP address in here using port 80 in order to access operate. So, oh no, it's taskless actually. So we can run a demo demo and as you can see, our task list has opened up right here um, and we could work on certain tasks. That's wonderful, great. Um, and of course, when you do really want to use operate and task list in here, you do need to configure the ports properly because now task list and operate are using the same ports um, there. So one might need to be set to 81 or something differently. Okay, um, with having that said, we do have installed ZB on Google Cloud Platform and we can access our task list via this external IP address. Cool. As you have seen, the installation has been pretty basic and simple. So hopefully you could follow me and try it out by yourself. And if you do have further questions, do not hesitate to take a look at the links in the description or to just comment down below the video. Let me know also whether there are further topics which interest you in relation to ZB and Camuna Cloud. Cool, see you next time. Bye.